Welcome everyone to the second unit. First week of the second unit titled My Perfect World. So the unit title is called My Perfect World. And based on the title, you can deduce that we might be talking about what is perceived as a utopian society, perhaps. So in the first lesson, as usual, at the beginning of each and every lesson, we are going to guess the concepts and context of a unit. So we're going to have diverse riddles here, and you'll have to deduce what is the concept and what is the context. Afterwards, we are going to generate our, uh, a, an SOI statement that is reflective to the context, okay, and the concepts. This, the second lesson will highlight the following objectives. We are going to start with what is a dystopian literature. We're going to define what a dystopian literature is and indicate its features so that you'll be able to identify the novel that we're going to read and understand what exactly are we discussing. Perhaps when we define what it is, you may deduce that, okay, maybe it isn't a perfect world. So, and then you're going to reflect your opinion on what you think a dystopian novel is. In lesson three, we're going to highlight uh, the author and discuss the author's achievements, two interesting facts, and the author's beliefs. So here you're going to be divided into groups where you're going to create a PowerPoint presentation uh, explaining the author's, again, achievement, beliefs, and two interesting facts about him or her. So um, you'll need to also identify if it's a male or a female. Lewis Laurie is a very known, so it's going to be in this form. You're going to create a PowerPoint presentation, reflecting information, research about the author in groups, research information about the author's early life, education, beliefs, achievements, and two interesting facts. The fourth lesson, on the other hand, will be a li library lesson. You will uh, be introduced to primary and secondary sources and Ms. Manal and, uh, and myself, we're going to explain to you how you're going to evaluate resources. And this lesson is very important because it is also reflective to other disciplines where we will also analyze resources, for instance, in individuals and societies in this particular unit, which is the second unit, we are going to evaluate sources in the form of OPVL. So this lesson will be very beneficial and helpful. And finally, the fifth lesson will be a map test. We are going to practice together. I shall introduce to the students that are new what is a map test and, that, and help you uh, achieve a mark that you believe is satisfactory. If you have any inquiries, please email me and I shall respond. Have a lovely day.